Hey guys, this is Daniel Rosehill. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So every time I post about M-Discs on Reddit, I see that people are actually quite excited or some people are quite excited about it. So I just wanted to show you guys my storage mechanism, uh, how I store these M-Discs. I'm not suggesting it's like the best one ever, but um, it works. So this is my on-site backup. Uh, yes, it's super, uh, I'm super pedantic. I have a label printer. So this is the archive. Um, I initially stored these guys in um, whatever these are called, jewel cases. And lately I've kind of just started using these envelopes, but you should probably use jewel cases. I guess they're a bit sturdier. Uh, I got this thing on Amazon. It's just like a DVD holder. Obviously M-Discs are um, like the same size as CDs, whatever. So this is actually like all the discs I've created basically. Um, and what this is, is like all my, so I have a YouTube channel um, and basically this is my whole video archive. So like sometimes I back up shoots, you can see this is the uh, inkjet printable M-Disc and again, sometimes I use the label. Then people said that's a bad idea. So I just started writing on them in a, you know, inkjet writer. So I just write the date like video 30522. So this is a, something I burned in, um, I guess, May of 22. And yeah, this is like three years worth of video here you're looking at. So like basically everything I've put out on YouTube, mostly it's the finished videos. Sometimes I also back up the actual shoots if it's like useful 01231. And if there's multiple, this is just my very basic system. If there's multiple, if I create multiple M discs per month, I'll just like label each one one, two, whatever. So this way I can go back and I have a little spreadsheet that I like kind of basically if I need to get back a video or an archive i just need to know the month they shot it in and yeah that's it i'm like i mean after three years i haven't even filled up my first case yet so you can store quite a lot of data this way and then i have this uh m disc offsite thing so what i do here is i will get my so this is youtube 0723 once a year i bring this out to my in-laws in the us and i store i have a like duplicate um, <clears throat> of this box here, and that's my offset archive. So this is like the one that I just bring on an airplane once a year uh, to bring it to my offsite archive so that I have two copies of all my videos. Uh, that's it. That's how I use M-Discs for archiving um, all my video content and my podcast as well, actually, now I'm doing on. So this video, when it's finished, will be put on my NAS, and then when my NAS reaches 25 gigs, burn that onto an M-Disc, keep that here once a year, this goes over to the US and yeah, that's my system.